Director General, Excellencies, Honorable Ministers of Agriculture for member countries, distinguished delegates from countries and various organizations, ladies and gentlemen. Talofa and warm greetings from Tuvalu. It is indeed an honor and great privilege for me to join all of you, Excellencies, and distinguished delegates to this 35th session of FAO Regional Conference for Asia and the Pacific. I extend my deepest appreciation to the APRC Secretary for organizing this virtual conference to allow members and organizations to deliberate, cooperate, and collaborate on issues of common interest, food security, and agriculture. I must acknowledge that the unexpected outbreak of COVID-19 has created an unprecedented level of uncertainty and has challenged every aspect of our lives. As leaders and Christians, let us all remember in our thoughts and prayers those who have perished globally due to the spread of COVID-19. Tuvalu's food and agriculture sectors is already under threatened by a multitude of factors such as insecurity, climate change, infectious diseases, natural resources, degradations, natural disease, the outbreak of COVID-19 further compounded this with its impact generally spread across different countries. Excellencies, agriculture is an important sector for Tuvalu as it is the main source for the livelihood of communities. Tuvalu's agriculture sector relies on innovative best practices to ensure sustainability of local food production to minimize the impact of climate change on food crops and livestock. The outbreak of COVID-19 and the declaration of health state of emergency by the government on the 20th March 2020 directly led to the establishment of the COVID-19 task force and the development of a comprehensive response and preparedness plan for the country. Unsurprisingly, and of great concern was the issue of good food security. Government recognized that providing sustained adequate food supply change for the people of Tuvalu will be challenging if trading halts due to the risk of spreading COVID-19. On that note, I am delighted to share the measures and strategies that have been activated by government of Tuvalu to minimize disruptions to food securities and agricultural services. Fatong Fiefi on Fungafal has stepped it up. Its effort is supplying fresh vegetables to the public on Funafuti and distributing seedlings to the public for own gardening. Fast tracking the planting of root crops at the new agroforestry site in Funafala to enhance food security and better integrate the traditional farming practices to sustain local food production. Encourage farmers on the Alda Islands to plant more root crops and promote traditional ways of preserving methods to prolong lifespan of food items. Control selling of basic food items in stocks by instigating a food voucher system to limit the number of basic food items a household can purchase within a two-week period. A strict monitoring of stock on other food items like canned food, frozen food, cleaning soap and detergents in soaps and developing a threshold system to trigger rationing measures and working closely with importers in ordering adequate supplies of food items to avoid food runouts. Excellencies, with that I call upon all members countries, international and regional partners and organizations to come together and discuss practical and effective measures to compact the impact of COVID-19 on food and agricultural services. Tuvalu is fully committed to continue working in partnership with FAO and SPC to addressing national and regional needs to reduce food and agricultural insecurity. The government and the people of Tuvalu underscore and appreciate the unprecedented support to receive from FAO and SPC and welcome future support in ensure that food security and agricultural issues in Tuvalu are appreciated and adequately addressed. 
Excellencies, I wish you all a very successful conference and a fruitful deliberations. It is my hope and prayer that the decision taken over the course of this meeting will lead to a real and lasting positive changes. Fafetai Lassi, Tuvalu Mundiatua.